Just about every single stream, I get asked, how am I using this decal, or what decal is this, or how do you make custom decals? So, today, that's what we're going to be getting into. I'm going to start off with the bad news and let you know this is only available to PC players through Bacchus Mod, which is available on Steam and Epic. And within Bacchus Mod, you can see plugins, and Bacchus Mod doesn't automatically come installed with all of these, so you'll also need to install the Alpha Console plugin. The links to both Bacchus Mod and Alpha Console will be in the description. Now, in the Alpha Console menu, you can see all of these cosmetics. And there's lots of different ones that we're not getting into today. Wheel textures, custom goals, all of that. But right here where we have decal textures are where, where we're going to be focusing today. And you can see that any decal that I have downloaded or made, I can, I can go to right away. Okay, so after you've downloaded Bacchus Mod and Alpha Console, you will go to the Google Drive that I have linked in the description. And it'll just have this one folder called decals. First, it has all of the decals that I have made, but then also one called templates. You will download that, and then you'll want to place that in a specific folder so that Alpha Console knows where to find it. That folder you can find by going to Bacchus Mod, File, Open Bacchus Mod Folder, Data, AC Plugin, this is your Alpha Console, Decal Textures, and then finally, that's where you'll put it. So I have it in here. All of these other ones are just the different decals that I've made. Anytime that you want to make a new decal, just copy and paste this folder, make another one. So you always have one template folder to make it easy on yourself so you don't have to come back here and find it again. Now with this template folder, you will see a few different files. The main one we're focusing on is this Oct Diffuse file. If we open this in any photo editing program, I'm going to use Photoshop. We will see that it pretty much just looks like this white and black and clear blob. All of the black spots are the spots that nothing is going to show up. The white and clear spots are where you're going to make your decal. For the most part, it's pretty obvious, like this is the side of your car, this is the top of your car, the other side of your car, but some spots are a little less obvious. So I also went ahead and labeled the chart here. Some spots aren't labeled because they are inside the car and therefore unable to be seen in game. So what I'm going to do real quick is just put a rainbow over top of this and show you what it looks like in game so that you can kind of see where the different spots of the car are picked up by this file. All right, this file will work just fine. And we're just going to fill the whole thing. All right, so now that we have it filled, we're just going to save this. I'm going to do save as, I'm going to make the Photoshop file. The reason I'm doing this is that if I want to edit this in the future, I have the actual file with the different layers. And then secondarily, I'm going to save it again. I'm going to save this time as a PNG. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. What I'm replacing is just the file that has only all the white and black. So yes. Right now it's open in my Photoshop, so it's just going to show you what it looked like before. If I click on template, Oops, blue side. So before it was all white, I need to close it out of my Photoshop. Exit out again, I'm just clicking F5 to get there quickly. If you ever forget, you can just go straight to your Bacchus Mod Plugins Alpha Console, toggle Alpha Console menu. All right, so now if I go again, I think I'm on blue side, to template, still white. I'm gonna reset my game real quick. So now that I've reset my game, you can see what it actually looks like. Sometimes I don't have to reset my game, and I'm not really sure what causes that, why sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But if you compare this, a lot of the yellow and green and blue have ended up here, purple all on that. And if you compare that to our, our file, which just looks like this, you can see that some of this purple stuff is on the right side of the file. You can kind of see where different things line up, some of the things that are a little less obvious. So you'll notice that the undersides of the wheels are actually the same part of the file. So if you look at the underside of this wheel, it's kind of a greenish color. Underside of this wheel, same. And the underside of both of these are red. So whatever color you make, one wheel cover is going to be the same as the other. Notice how this is identical to this, and this is identical to this. So that's one little kind of annoying thing. You can't have asymmetry between those. So I really only have two last things to talk about. 
One is this Hyperbeast chassis file right here. If I open it real quick, you can see this is pretty much all of the workings of your engine. Uh, you've got your lights, your brake lights right here. You also have, these are the little red tubes that come out of the back of the octane. If I show you real quick, these red tubes. And in that file, you can change anything as well to make that basically be part of your decal. So for example, if I come in here and instead of going to the template, the one that we just made, we're gonna go to my Tokyo Ghoul one. And you can see I changed all of the red here to black to match. And I changed the brake lights as well to match. And then I kept this side white in order to go with this to make it all kind of run together and be its own cohesive thing rather than just the decal. So that's a fun thing to mess around with. I did the same thing on my rainbow, the one that I usually main. You can see here I, I made the, the red pipes a little bit more colorful to match along with it. Same down here. I didn't do anything to the lights because I kind of like the red for this one. And then our final point is that if we come back in to here and we go to our folder that we're currently working on, we go to this JSON file. If we change this line here, please, then that will change what our decal is called. I'm actually going to save that. And then likely I'm going to have to reset my game for it to show up. Yep. All right, and now if we come back in here, instead of being template, it says sub to me, please. All right, I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I tried to make this a little shorter than a lot of the tutorials I saw online because when I was learning, I kept kind of skipping through long tutorials, um, and so I wanted to make this as quick as possible. So again, thanks for watching.